Hey, what is going on? Good evening. My name is Mr. Fan. I welcome to welcome to a kind of like a summer buyer's guide. So for for things that are uh, for for things that are just exclusive to actually this particular wave. So it's most gonna be Legos and you know Bakugan. So uh, yeah, there's uh, some things that are just released right now that well at least well what I can currently find in retail for you guys. So. If you guys are looking for them, you can't find them online, probably because people are going to overcharge them. Uh, you can find some of these in retail, but be careful, you may have to have, actually have to check specific stores to actually just determine, you know, just which one actually has them in stock. Now, first thing, just right off the bat, is LEGO. Now, the buyer's guide on uh, the Bad Bash shuttle, or the Have Marauder, has, has been highly anticipated by many people. So I actually have have Marauder, and it's kind of a you know fallen part kind of I'm kind of messing stuff up here, but yes, this set actually has the plus of actually having an entirety of the Bad Batch, which is what people are are actually getting set for is for these minifigures. I just pulling one up right off the bat. Uh, you, you can actually get these to custom. Not really custom. I do have. So I'm, like, I'm not gonna show them, but you could, you do have the the Le official Lego, the Bad Batch. But yeah, that's the main selling point of the hey, Marauder. If you're getting this, you're most likely getting this for the minifigures and well, secondarily the build. But a majority of the complaints that I see with this build is the uh, is are the side builds. So yeah, if you catch the builds, you're actually gonna see the not. All of the uh, members can actually fit in the actual shuttle itself, as if because uh, apparently Lego decided to focus more on the actual, you know, speeders, all that stuff. But another thing I actually do like is the is the preferred method of you know printing on Legos, which Lego actually has a machine that will accurately print it on, not having it at an angle. That's a canopy piece. It's actually a printed Lego piece. So otherwise, some of the things you will see when you build it are actually sicker. So the only thing is here is printing. I think some of the control panels inside are actually printed, but otherwise than that, the rest is just sicker pieces. Now, another thing that you can get that's currently out in retail, apparently not if you want to get because it's kind of a re-release of like an old 2000, like an early 2000 set. And it's the uh, Mandalorian uh, Starfighter. And uh, yeah, basically, most people are getting it, it is for the exclusive minifigure that only comes in the set. Now, that's whole whole reason why I'm getting these is because the exclusive minifigures. Just frankly, just like no other reason why I'm actually getting these. Uh, in fact, the build is kind of a uh, weird. I would say it's like the same length as the actual Bad Best Shuttle. Yeah, it is. Um, it just, uh, it's just your own personal preference on actually what you like to build an issue with like a reissue of an early 2000 set. But uh, yeah, this is more of the updated one that actually I don't believe it was ever shown on a TV show. So you kind of basically, you're kind of just getting this for. You know, the exclusive minifigures, which you are getting Bulk at Hand and Gar Saxon, which apparently w wasn't in your 2005 set. So, basically, that's a plus for it. You're getting exclusive minifigures. So, basically, the whole premise, basically, what I found, in my opinion, is the whole premise of the Summer Lego Star Wars Wave is <clears throat> exclusive minifigures that uh, most people, you can't really find the exclusive minifigures. So, so, so that's essentially where, so that's, that's, those, those are the two main things that I suggest people buy. But the Midnight Star Fighter is actually cheaper and is much, much more, like, it's much more fun to build. Whereas Bad Batch Shuttle, you're actually building the two side builds, in, as well as building the shuttle. Which, I'm not a fan of the speeders, because I have way too many speeders on the 501st Battle Pack. But, uh, yeah. Now, on the next way, uh, if you are looking at background, 
uh, you'll know you have the list of which ones are rare, which ones are actually hard to find, and just or just which ones kind of you know very, very difficult to actually look after. Like for example, uh, on the R Arlis mine or the Arlis, uh, you know, Bakugan and Geogon, they're hard to find because Arlis are pretty rare. Probably because on our show they're considered the toughest Bakugan to go. But yeah, we're finding like finding rare things. So Arlis, and also especially now, it's, I know it's a lot of a lot of toy companies are releasing toys for the actual summer wave. So what I'm doing, so what I actually found is the, if you're looking at Bakugan, you are actually finding uh, the uh, the elementals of the factions. Now, for elementals, they're high, a lot more detailed. Now, for example, here's one, well, they also they have slightly translucent a paint. Now, for example, for plastic, here's the elemental Drago. Uh, it's actually a core Drago, there's not really an ultra elemental, because that will be insane, because I, I did a video on the ultra Drago, but uh, yeah, basically, you're looking at the, uh, basically, it sh co shows up in ball form like this, but you can tell it's all the elemental, plus the packaging are different because paint, so it's Rise of Geogon, but it's not, it's just an elemental, elemental and mine is just, just freaking falling apart right now. Because, uh, it's just, eh, screw it. since it's falling apart, I might as well just, just roll it out. But uh, yeah, elemental. It's semi translucent, you can actually see through the actual, kind of see through the plastic a little. But uh, yeah, semi translucent, it's, it looks very well, it handed it. So they spent a lot of time detailing this, which is why uh, it's very rare, like the Diamond Bakugan. Now, showing off another one that I have, that I found in stores, is the Elemental Shark Targan, I use some core, and uh, yeah, the faction symbols are, actually, I believe, the fact on how Spin Master packages them, but they're on ball form. But you're going to see the Elemental, or the, uh, the Attribute faction, as an actual golden or golden painted sign. Other than that, everything is, uh, you know, painted like that. And also, it's, uh, it's shown as, you know, more, the fire is more red. It's kind of hands the red, but it has other paint features on it. Now, I don't have a shark tar, uh, core form. There's eyeballing the, the, uh, the elemental drago. There's more detail on the uh, elemental because because where you have the uh, amazing paint like on the wings, it'll actually show up as um, it, it'll show up as a uh, you know just orange paint, kind of like Jagger's horn on the actual just regular one. So if you're actually looking for things, find the elemental ones because they'll be very hard sought after. And uh, yeah, officially the villain for the Jacon Rising is officially out. His Villock, it's only in the core one, which I'm kind of expecting it to be an Ultra, but uh, yeah. But, yeah. It's an Arlis villain. That's the first one we've actually kind of seen. Well, actually, you actually have a toy of it. The previous one was like a. The first one was also Gold one who had the V virus, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of blanking on his on his name, but uh, yeah, but yeah, there's no toy for this. For this one, you can actually get the actual toy and actually use it in game as a villain. But obviously, or actually, actually play it in a game if you won't really want to. But yeah, so again, that's gonna be for you just buying guys. Start, please go to actually check your retail stores. It's gonna be a huge massive summer summer wave, like some Lego Marvels that type of come out for even movie that's not even released yet. It's gonna be released on September 3rd. So yeah, just check your retail stores. Some may have it. So uh yeah. I just guys that's gonna be it for this video. If you have enjoyed, please sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and fly our pot.